Hello, YouTubers. This is another session in our series of podcasts where we get to, you know, interview people, pioneers and technologists, people that innovate new technologies that make engineering experience for engineers, millions of engineers around the world so much better. And today I am joined by Mladen. Yep. Is that right? That's right this time. <laughs> and is it and is it Matsanovic or Makanovic? Yes. Matsanovic. Matsanovic. Yes. Kakosi, Mladen. <laughs> super South. Super, super. I'm also joined by my dear friend. You guys have seen him in my uh, podcast, my channel a couple of times, Mr. Joshua McCall. Josh is a, a seasoned software engineer in UI technologies, frameworks, you name it, he's done it. You know, he's done it. You know, jQuery, Angular, React, uh, Knockout, Vue.js, and Blazor. He's done it all. He loves it. You know, he loves to work with me and build stuff that, you know, is UI based and brings a lot of innovation, a lot of ideas uh, to uh, to the game here. Josh is going to be my co-host today. And, you know, our target is going to be Mr. Mladen, you know, with us. And uh, Mladen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you, brother? What? Uh, why are you here? <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Hello, Hassan. Thank you Hello. for having me today. Yeah. yeah. I've been I've been waiting for for quite a while for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, uh, I don't know where where to start. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Where you yeah. from? Where you grew up? You know, we're gonna have to pull up a map here because here people here in America are not yeah, exactly geography yeah. buffs. There's oh, only America and then the the other people. The, <laughs> the rest of the world. Yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> Believe it or not, my brother Josh McCall here is Japanese. You know, I know you can't tell, but he's Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, man, I always hate uh, talking about myself. But yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I'm Mladen Matsanovic, coming from Croatia. Uh, uh, I'm living uh, near the near Split. Uh, that's the second city, second largest okay. city, city in Croatia, near near yeah. the coast. Okay. And yeah, it's. Uh, the place where I live is called uh, Dugopole. Like uh, in English, it would be uh, a long field. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's a village uh, around uh, four thousand people. And so yeah, I, I'm a village boy. <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> That's the guy, you know. I, you know, yeah. I, I grew up. I grew up in a village too. And and Joshua also, you know, he's from uh, Iowa State, which is the entire state is basically a village, right, Joshua? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 you yeah. said you're you said you're from Croatia. Let's let's see where this is on the map. Let's pick up the map and let's just show people where Blazerize is coming from. And we're gonna talk about Blazerize in a second, but this is mm -hmm. more so here's yeah. maps.google.com and then we're gonna go yeah, to it's, Croatia. It's quite small on the on the world map. It's it's a little small, it looks beautiful though. You know, this is yeah. Croatia right here. So I see Croatia right here. Bro, you're in you're in Europe. I hope everything is okay there. You know, I I know there's a lot of stuff going on there. I hope yeah. you're you're safe. Oh, so Zagreb Very good so far. So, so yeah, Zagreb is is your city. Yeah, that's main city. Yeah. Nice, nice. I don't know what this indicator is, but it just showed up. So guys, this is where Croatia is, right? And you know, this is where it is. So Josh, this is America, and then there's other <laughs> countries around the world. Just want to let you know. I okay. Today. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 brother, tell us a little bit about you know your journey into technology. You know, how did you start with technology? Just, just for the people you know watching us. You know, um, Laden here is is the innovator and creator of a Blazor <laughs> library called Blazorize, and it picked up you know. Uh, such such a popularity and it went you know really really fast sponsorship people that are looking you know forward to use the latest and greatest technologies you know him by himself is a one man army like you think it takes about 400 engineers like if you look at sync fusion telerik progress and all of these different you know companies you know they have about 3 400 engineers building something like this and then in the open source space it's open source i think are yeah, you it's open yeah source. of course it is right so, so, and then open source space, someone just sitting there in Croatia decides, hey, I'm going to roll up my own library. That's the beauty of technology. How did you yeah. get into technology, brother? Tell me. Oh, man. So I got into it like uh, I was like maybe 10 years ago, 10 years mm -hmm. old. Uh, before that, like 
growing up on the in the village is you're not really uh, connected to the world so much, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. in the in the nineties because mm -hmm. there was a war back then, and so I grew up mostly with television. So that that mm -hmm. was my only only uh, window to the world, mm -hmm. and uh, usually. On the weekends, I, I used to go uh, to my grandma uh, in the city. She lived there, and there was like my, my cousins that had a lot of uh, new toys, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. like video games, uh, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And one time I went there, uh, so like, I, I think it was Commodore 64 mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And it, it instantly got me hooked. Uh, I was like, uh, uh so so, so enjoying the uh, games uh, on on the on the cassettes or, yeah yeah the, yeah, the yeah. cartridge you know were you cartridge, playing like yeah. w was it like the nintendo and sega and 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 uh, and all of these platforms or, or yeah, yeah a little bit uh -huh. those uh -huh. came, came later yeah oh so atari so, then you're talking atari and uh <laughs> no we, we didn't uh have a uh, real nintendo we, we got a fake <laughs> uh, Nintendo back then. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. that's uh -huh. that's a story by itself. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so just humble beginnings. You had to go visit your, you know, your cousins, your friends. Yeah. And play and video if games. They, if they would uh -huh. allow me to play, it would be okay. It would yeah, be but five, sometimes five, you'll just watch. Five minutes. Just yeah, just, five just watch it. That's it. So, yeah, that, that's that's my my my, st my beginning. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I, when I you, you grow up, I used to ride a bicycle. Uh, I used to uh, uh, combine all the radios and uh, rip, rip them apart and take uh, parts out and uh, mm -hmm. uh, connecting uh, wires, uh, batteries, experimenting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was also my my uh, 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 like uh, passion back then. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I, I, before going into into programming, I, I wanted to to be like an electrician, and uh, mm -hmm. so that that was my uh, uh, my wish. But somehow, so when you I kinda... was in high school, mm -hmm. yeah, when I was in high school, I, I didn't know like uh, much about uh, what would I work, uh, what would I do with my with my uh, with my life. Uh -huh. And one of the of the professors in in high school. Told me like, uh, hey man, like there is a new new uh, university uh, open like last year, and they have uh, like programming uh, uh, programming like uh, I don't know mm -hmm. uh, course book camp like yeah, courses yeah, yeah. courses or... courses mm -hmm. yeah, and why not try it? So yeah, that instantly got me interested, and yeah, I went okay. uh, and yeah started that and. Yeah, you just got into so, it. it. Just made got sense into to you. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh -huh. before that, I really didn't have any computer. Like, uh, I, I just played consoles, uh, video games. That was it. Like, PC yeah. was, yeah, way be beyond my league. I didn't have like anything to to buy it, or uh, because we were pretty, like, uh, uh, low level. Uh, uh, citizens, I would say it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It, it was my first, uh, uh, like my my grandma buy kind of my intro me, into yeah, yeah, buy yeah, yeah my yeah. first PC when I got into university. Yeah. And yeah, and yeah, I wanted to build video games back then. So that was my <laughs> my, well, my my wish. What was your so, favorite video game back then? Oh man, uh, I think it was like Gran Turismo, uh, uh, like uh, Soul River. Uh, Siphon filter, something like that. Yeah, nice. Metal nice. Gear Solid. Yeah, that. Was yeah, Metal, great, Metal right. Gear. Yep. Yeah, Metal yeah. Gear. That's that's yeah. that one is uh, that one. You know, I remember the very first Metal Gear Solid. It was a it was an eagle eye kind of thing. So you see it from yeah, the top, yeah. and you kind of run around, and then as soon as someone sees you, it just says, "Oh, alert!" and they're gonna go running after you. I loved loved that game. Yeah. I thought it was outworldly game yeah. you know i thought me, to myself, me and my brother like, used to yeah. play it like day day night and there yeah. was no memory card you you, you wouldn't <laughs> if you save, die yeah. it's over yeah, it's <laughs> if over. you shut down you have to start from the beginning i remember yeah, yeah. that oh my god oh, so you basically were forced to do speed runs like today's yeah. speed runs are 
<laughs> it's like a come exactly. on. It's like a luxury. Like, oh, you get to do a speed run. You know, no, you were actually you had to do speed runs. You know, anybody that grew up in this area, I have a lot of respect for them because you know they 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 saw the industry evolve. You know, as as they're growing. Okay, so you went to college. You know, you studied yeah. computer science, and then what happened? What happened? So, to you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what happened? I I started writing uh, game engines. Like nice. first, it was uh, in in Visual Basic six. Like it was pretty. Mm -hmm. It was from from this perspective, it was like uh, pretty basic. But back then, it was pretty advanced. Like mm -hmm. uh, it was running, uh, I think, Quake Quake three engine. Mm -hmm. or yeah. three maps like yeah. I mean 60 frames per second like it was pretty optimized yeah in visual 60s, basic, like. 60 is good yeah. yeah yeah and it was like pentium 3 i think with mm -hmm. 128 megabytes so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty low level pc right yeah then i moved to c plus uh, plus rewrite everything everything uh, to c sharp uh, yeah and it, now that I, that I think about it, I used to write game engine for a very long time, like mm -hmm. for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so doing university and then going home and uh, 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 until 3, 4 a.m. in the morning, just programming, typing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And absolutely. there was no internet back then. Like uh, it was like just dial up. And if you go to internet, like you, every you, minute you lose, counts. You, Yep, every minute counts, and you, you end up with a thousand dollar bill, and yeah. nobody and nobody can use the the phone, and you felt like you're choking a cat, you know, while connecting yeah, to yeah. the internet. You know, <laughs> do you remember that weird sound? Oh, man. You feel like you're summoning demons from the internet just to connect, you <laughs> yeah. know, which which did not do us a lot of good favor trying to invite people into technology. You know, just people be like, look, I can hear them. I can hear the demons. I told you they're demonic. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. so, <laughs> so <laughs> So you did gaming, you know. Did you actually work professionally as a game developer, like actually working no, in gaming? No, just, ne just never got, got into because then back then there was like I, th I think just one company in uh -huh. Zagreb that was like five miles from here, five hundred yeah. miles from here. Yeah. And yeah, I was still in college. I didn't have any experience, so it, it was hard to get into into the that. Uh, that thing and yeah, so I just uh, get a job here in in, in Split. Yeah. Like my my friend from university got me yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's how I started professionally. Like it was like two thousand five, I think. Yeah, and yeah. what was your what was your what? So you started in two thousand five. That's a lot of experience, yeah. brother. Do you you know when you started your first job? Was it like uh what, like you're a software engineer i'm assuming what kind of systems were you developing what kind of domain were you working towards uh it was like erp, ERP oh erp for, like yeah. sap like yep. for personal stations like yep. uh, that kind of, of companies yeah it yep. was uh, i remember uh, the guys that that started uh, writing that that uh, erp mm. they got uh, like uh, the to-do list what the application will do on a4 paper with mm -hmm. just two lines mm -hmm. uh, do this mm -hmm. and do this mm -hmm. uh, this grow from there like like into a monster mm -hmm. and yeah it, it was pretty like uh, everything was in store procedures on sql server <laughs> and, like the business <laughs> logic like <laughs> You know, you know, you know what's nightmare. You know what's you know today. I tell people, you know what's a sign you need to quit your job immediately. If you see FL statements in a SQL query and you're supposed to maintain that in any way, shape, or form, know that yeah. this is not gonna be a fun ride. Also, if you yeah. have to, if you have to run your Visual Studio in admin mode to kind of get a project running, that's also yeah. a red flag. That's literally like dating someone and all of the sudden, you know, they take off their shirts and start running around. That's the equivalent of that, you know, <laughs> in yeah, the yeah. tech industry. I, I, I still have some some project that I need to run it in admin mode. <laughs> like, <laughs> so <laughs> don't go into that. <laughs> the poor brother's gonna lose his job today because <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, with with ARPs, were you doing mainly uh, UI development, front end, or were you just back end? Like, like everything, like, SQL, everything, yeah. like full everything, stack. You know, 
Fourth from way, like back-end. I have to do everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there, there's no like front end back end. No, there is like no code. No, but there is, but back then, like you program, you program. Yeah. No, 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 no separation. There's no separation of concern. There's solid principles. No. They make it back then. Yeah, I yeah. see. Everything was static uh, methods, like uh, no testing. Yeah, were you just... were you using .NET back then, or was it more like C? Yeah, C++ yeah. Plus plus actually, at like my first job, I, I started working with B Sharp, and okay. and before that, like I was writing engines in game engines in C++. Plus plus. Nice. So when I was, when I uh, started C Sharp, I really hated it. <laughs> With all my guts. Like, what? Someone else yeah. managing my memory for me? Yeah, what kind of yeah, sorcery yeah. is that? <laughs> and, 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 and slowly, I just got used to it, and just I, I love it today. So, yeah. love it, love it. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So you had to build everything. Let, let me ask you this, brother. You know, did you? You know, um, okay, so so you started your first job, you're working on .NET, working with the ERP system, that's great. You know, what, you know, starting in the tech industry, just, you know, by the way, the gaming industry, I got to tell you, the gaming industry single-handedly, you know, lured in some of the smartest brains in the world to kind of join our, you know, f- for some people would say boring, you know, <laughs> jobs of sitting in front of a computer, yeah. just writing code in all day. So I'm happy that you know, the gaming industry lured you in because we need your skill sets mm-hmm. and we need your talents. But moving forward, like, you know, let's fast forward. You are here today. Mm-hmm. You know, how did you how did you come up with Blazor Eyes? Where did that come from? You know, how did it tell me everything about this story? This is this is really interesting to see that that the, the, the birth of innovation. Where does yeah. that happen? Mm. Well, usually I I. I like to uh, start uh, new projects like all the time. Like yep. I have many projects sitting around. Can't, can't some, relate to that at all. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> some some finished, some uh, unfinished, not finished. Yeah. Yep. Mostly yep. not finished, but yeah. And <laughs> so you, you know how how it used to do used to go mm-hmm. like uh, some friends uh, came to you like I have a great idea uh, to build some application and uh, we're going to do it is uh, it's going to be a success mm-hmm. and that's how we got to Blazor as like mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. was a child of of another project mm-hmm. so our friend came to me and uh, said that he want to build some build some uh, like uh, CMS ERP uh, hybrid system for, mm-hmm. yeah system and Back then, I I worked uh, with uh, React uh, a little, and at the time, Blazor was really young, like I, I think just a few months old. Mm-hmm. And when I first uh, like uh, uh, saw it, I, I just tried to to convert uh, like React uh, React components that I already got into Blazor, and what really ho- got me hooked is how fast I did that. Like, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Blazor was pretty limited, but it, it, it got me pretty fast to the same level that I, I was at with the React components. Mm-hmm. And from then, uh, I just started experimenting uh, more and more doing uh, components than the actual application that we started. Yeah. So, yeah. And like that project. So, so you're building. So you're. Tight. Yeah, so you're working yes. on this project and on the side you're building these components for the project that turned out to be... I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. and it's, it slowly died. Like, I, I didn't have much time to work on that project, so it faded away. Mm-hmm. But uh, while experimenting with the new components in Blazor, I got like a lot of ideas uh, because I, back then I started with uh, with uh, Bootstrap CSS, yeah, yeah. and uh, then I, I saw like Bulma CSS, like it's, uh-huh, it's another uh-huh. framework. And I, I saw that in the credits. I, section I didn't want your, to yeah. uh, rewrite everything. Yep. yep. So I came up with a system that could handle both, and yep, that's yep. how Blazor has actually like started, was born, born. And those two providers, like CSS, CSS frameworks, were two. Uh, frames that I started with. Interesting. And yeah, that that's that's. I I, I can see here. Yeah, Mladen, I can see here that you know you're gathering. You know, I also appreciate that. You know that you know your your official page. You know, in here, you're you're giving credits to all the different components, including Mud Blazer. So you're building your stuff on top of Mud Blazer. You know, Flat yeah, Picker, yeah. 
quell chart wow look at that it takes a village huh you know all of these different you know components mm -hmm. you know the awesome project they used are using some parts you know to build blazer eyes the thing i like most about about this though first of all it's so slick man look at this this is cute this is just going right but also yeah. more importantly look at the very end here blazer eyes is powered by blazer eyes <laughs> i love yeah. it that'll just bring you to the top of the screen i love <laughs> that part there's there's a lot of it something to say here um so so this is this is blazer eyes okay so you're building an erp system and you know you just there's a lot of components in there you know were you kind of you know discouraged a little bit in the beginning or kind of concerned in the beginning that there might be already alternatives out there or did you feel like you want to put your own you know blueprint you want to put your own kind of mark you know in the web framework mark especially for something like blazer go ahead, go ahead. yeah but, well there was a, there were alternatives but there was like blazer trap Mm -hmm. That there mm -hmm. was this was also a popular framework uh, for for Blazor. There mm -hmm. was uh, Matte Blazor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was I think uh, Matte Blazor was more more popular back then. Matte Blazor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It was it was pretty pretty good uh, back then. Later on, I think they the guy who started it uh, like I don't know maybe just start stopped uh, working abandoned it I don't know yeah usually they get married and they just get too busy you know? yeah <laughs> <laughs> like the dude like the dude who did the uh, I I don't know if it's fluent assertions or probably fluent assertions he's like you know I I got kids now so that was a fun run you guys good luck with the enterprise systems that you built on top of my library <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was also my concern when, when i was getting my first uh, kid and uh, yeah I, I thought that i, I would just stop uh, programming but yeah my my, it, my it wire in brain yeah, yeah. yeah i just kept moving yeah, I, I couldn't stop yeah. even if i if i wanted to so yeah it's too hard you just you it's just can't hard. you just can't can't not you know, program every day and write code. Let me ask you this. I was just talking to Eagle about this yesterday. And, you know, we were talking about, you know, starting new projects, open sourcing projects and all that kind of good stuff. You know, um, you know, where is Blazorize now in its life cycle? Do you still have the spark? Do you still want to push more features and more work into it? Or yeah, do you, are you I, just I trying really to stabilize? Really, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I really like I think it's it's just starting. Like uh, mm -hmm. so far, I was focused on on uh, uh, cleaning the API, uh, experimenting, and doing a lot of stuff. And just recently, we released like first version, like mm -hmm. one old version that mm -hmm. was stable enough with uh, in the API part that uh, that I, I could really call it uh, one old version. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of other frameworks, libraries, uh, whatever. They just released one version, and Blazor was still like in preview. Preview, so mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I, I I didn't trust it too too much until Blazor first stabilized, and then the the API. So yeah, uh, I, I I'm pretty strict regarding regarding that part. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah, I, I could do that uh, like two years ago and say like. Here it is. It's the final version we can go build from the crew here. But yeah, I would lie myself and then others. So, so how long have you officially been working on Blazor Eyes now? Is it uh, almost uh, two years I think now? More. It's. I think I released it first December two thousand and eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. Oh my yeah. god! That like Blazor was very, very, very green at a time. Just very strong green field. That it takes yeah. a lot of kind of. So you put your bet on Blazor, you know, picking up. You know, what made you think Blazor is gonna get so popular? Well, I don't know. Just trusting. Uh, it's just a gut feel. You know? Yeah. Just as, this, as, this thing works. The, 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 nothing to say that that. that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it it was the risky move. So, but yeah, it it it, it was mainly like a private project, and mm. so if I fail, I fail. So what, what, no what harm, is, no foul. Worth yeah. the shot, right? You yeah. you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, right? So that's yeah. so that's that, I mean, right? I, I remember uh, when I when I was starting. Uh, so 
back then I was working for for for, for a local company here in in Split in mm-hmm. the city, and we were I and my colleagues we were like going every day to the to the coffee, uh, like for half an hour, or hour or more, depending on on the day. Mm-hmm. And back then, like I I. I, I I was watching uh, like analytics on the page of Blazor, like uh-huh. uh, how many people are, are currently on the on the page. Like and there was like one person, two person. And I was like, <laughs> really, this is great. Someone is watching. This. Have, it's, at like, least someone out there, and then that someone yeah. ends up being you because you're the one that's on the page. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. yeah. And then and then <laughs> what happened? How did it pick up speed? Like, how did it? Like, tell me about the moment you realized, oh my God, Blazor Eyes is now being adopted. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. When, well, obviously, when the first uh, uh, issue tickets started uh, started piling up, and when I actually started uh, uh, communicating with the community through through the GitHub, through the Gitter uh, chat room, and yeah, that, that was like first. Uh, um, feel of the of the community of the open source because yeah. before that I, I was like almost not not working with open source. i was i was having i had like a small small project that i uh, but not sourced. a big dedicated no, intro. okay it was like very small like a, a system like an application that will just uh, uh, stay in the in the like a uh, taskbar and listen or or block uh hard drive into going to sleep mode that that mm-hmm. was it like mm-hmm. small application mm-hmm. with the gui and yeah that was it and it's, it's still used by the people i yeah. don't know what uh, who is using it but yeah that's it and yeah. blazer was uh, like uh, every day every week uh, like growing and uh, i i uh, i was uh, adding more more features fixing, fixing bugs and uh, learning Blazor because yeah you you always learn some new stuff and then when you yeah. learn it you you try to figure how to uh, uh, implement that in in the existing code yeah. without breaking uh, stuff too much and yeah is is yeah. yeah go ahead go uh, ahead sorry I, I think that's the hardest part like uh, yeah. trying to figure how to handle the change without. Uh, like pissing people. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> yeah, rolling out a. You mean like this guy that rolled out a change that if the IP is from a different country, they delete all the files. That that guy is a genius. Yeah, oh. yeah, from Ukraine. Yeah, I yeah. think, uh, well, I think yeah. that was on purpose. So he uh, he didn't he didn't accidentally do that. You know, you know, so accidentally doing it takes more skill, I suppose. But uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, on purpose. Yeah. But, so, but I accidentally uh, deleted the, the good part of the of the code. So just the just just, just don't put your data in node modules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I I really hate to to do any politics like uh, mix. Yeah, it just with, keep it. Yeah, with the you know, there is actually it's funny though. The, Josh, do you remember this guy that wrote the library that says if you are at Microsoft, don't use my library? Do you remember that one? <laughs> there, there was there was there was this library where Josh and I were considering using, and then we have to look at you know the legal terms and conditions and whatnot, and that was the oddest thing i've ever seen like everyone is okay to use it but if you're at microsoft nope you you don't get to use it i was like well i guess josh i guess we're out of we're out of luck here you know we're gonna have to do our own thing here's here's another question for you so there is a challenge that comes in is blazerize your full-time thing now or do you still have your own daily work and then you're just supporting blazerize on the side it's it's almost full-time like I, Mm -hmm. i still uh like two years ago uh I was still doing uh, Blazor Eyes as a uh, like uh, personal just a, thing. Just a side thing, yeah. Yeah, just a side thing. And then when when the COVID uh, came, like uh, we we all go go into into in, like homework and we all went into stuff. the box. Yeah, <laughs> but the problem is that uh, a few months before that, uh, I started working for a new company, uh-huh. so I, I was like still fresh and. And there was like many changes in that company, and uh, I, I didn't uh, get into into the speed mm-hmm. that uh, that they, that I wanted because like uh, 
some other company bought them. They implemented new 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 software that mm -hmm. I was not uh, uh, familiar with. But I first started uh, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. and I I got laid like in, I think it was May of mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I was in panic. What to do now? And and the good thing is that Blazerize gave me uh, opportunities. Like uh, some people uh, contacted Started me, picking and, it up. yeah, 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 and they gave me a few gigs, and uh, uh, they they, st they they started to be my first clients, and yeah. So from then, I, I was uh, mostly freelancing, doing partial uh, jobs for for a few car clients, and mm -hmm. then uh, slowly uh, like moving into into just Blazerize. While still keeping some clients to to like bring food to the table. <laughs> nice, nice. This is so, yeah. this is really this is really a good story, you know. Josh, the you know he's he's basically kicking off this thing on the side, and then it grows up enough, and at the very time where he needs it the most, it just starts kind of generate revenue. He's still bringing something. He's still bringing food to the table, putting the you know food on the table. But at the same time, he's um, he's continuing to to chase his passion. You know, and that's that's yeah. pretty cool. You know, this is you know you know you might not you, you, maybe you know this, but you know your journey is a dream. You know, like a lot of engineers just want to have this kind of financial independence in terms of you know just rolling up their own project and then that's gonna be their thing. And then people them are paying them money to do what they like to do, right? So not yeah. just writing code, but writing code towards something that you own and you like and you want to grow. Are you at the are you at the point yet where you're starting to have a team of engineers? Or are you still one man army kind of thing? Uh, well, I, I still I have one guy. His mm. name is David. David. Mm. He's mm -hmm. from Portugal, mm -hmm. and I think he works for we work uh, together for almost a year right now. I think. Nice, nice. Uh, he, but he's only like just working part time. Yeah, least, yeah. He's, he's trying to kind of. Tag yeah. on that wagon and be like, you know, I want to yeah, yeah. be, I want to do yeah. that too. This is, this is really good. I like this story. I like this story a lot because it also shows like if you chase your passion, if you build something you care about, you know, eventually this is how Apple started, right? You know, you know, mm -hmm. Steve Jobs, you know, mostly is about, you know, Hey, build something you care about, right? It's, yep. it doesn't matter whether you can see the ROI of it or not at the point in time. And that's the most beautiful thing about engineering. It's not all driven by numbers, right? Yep. There are some projects out there that are supporting some of the most critical systems out there and the biggest enterprise applications in the world. And the people that started then started because of the ROI, you know, neither because of the numbers. They started it because it just was fun. You know, the same thing I said to, to Eagle yesterday. I was just talking to him. I said to him, what did you do that, bro? Why did you do B unit? And he was like, he was like, I loved to build a platform. I like to kind of, you know, fill a gap in the system mm -hmm. right where yeah. i can actually you know build something that people like to use i said it makes me feel so happy to just see people using my system and using my library and actually getting benefit out of it you know he's only he's only making this project like you know definitely go support open source projects um um Laden, your your project is open for sponsorship as well right i'm assuming uh well it, it's not for sponsorship i mm. like i started uh, uh doing sponsorship uh, like it, almost at the beginning but mm -hmm. it was like pretty like uh, five dollars today and then three dollars in three months uh, yep. yeah 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 it was not pretty uh, like uh, good and then our last year uh when like a job like blazer eyes uh, was taking too much time uh, along with my like clients uh, uh -huh. time uh -huh. so i started uh, uh giving a commercial license like, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. in, in May last year. Yep. And yeah, it's it's still going on. And this year, I think maybe will will be like uh, positive for for the first time. Like nice. Blazor us will will give some revenue that uh, sustainable. That me, it can yeah, self sustain. Oh man, yeah. that's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. How how much do you work on Blazor eyes every day? Just ballpark, you know. Oof. At Let's least say a four week. hour. Yeah. Four hours every four yeah. hours every day. 
nice. at least, yeah, at least. What what do you, what do you do with the other four? You work out, you know, you just look out like a heartbreaker like that. All yeah, time, go like... go into into gym in the morning. Then uh, <laughs> he's not kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what do you think, Josh? Do you have anything for Mladen before I move forward to the other topic? Yeah, I was I was just gonna say I think it's funny how like I, if I remember right, you said that you were working on React components, you wanted to come up with Blazor components, and you wanted to see how fast you could come up to speed. So I, I think this is funny because it's you know to a certain degree it's it's everybody every engineer's you know rabbit hole of saying I wonder how this works out, and then how much time it'll you know it could save or be easier, and then you end up you know spending so much time on it that like you said you're spending more time on the Blazor components. Well, a little bit because you want to make it into a you know the framework and everything and stuff. But you know even if you don't make a framework. We, you know, as engineers, we end up going down the rabbit holes of like, we really want to be focusing on this thing. And we were, you know, preoccupied by this other thing that we're trying to get work here, this, you know, uh, this roadblock. Um, but you took that roadblock, turned it into an opportunity. And so now, now it's a, it's its own living thing and its own own project and stuff. So um, I think it's funny that, you know, uh, the thing that was, you know, I don't know if you like React or if you just like Blazor better and stuff, but the, uh, you, you're, you're like, hey, I wonder how fast I can get up to speed. And then, yeah, at first, it's a you know a little bit of a you know slows you down, but then uh, I would you know since you have the entire you know framework and stuff, I, I assume that you're probably as fast in Blazor, if not um, faster than you are compared to React and whatnot. Do you still oh, do yeah. React or or is it all Blazor these days? Yeah, only Blazor these days. Only Blazor. <laughs> Blazor yeah. native. I, I, this I started with to React back back uh, back <laughs> back then, so yeah. So, That's so, all. If I ever ever go back. What what do you like more about Blazor compared to React? Uh, the, the ecosystem. Like mm. Uh, mm. there is no webpack, there is no uh, transpilers. Just uh, just build and run. NPM, yeah. Isn't just that beautiful? Project start. Yeah, you don't have it. to pick up fifty thousand libraries. What was it, Josh? What was the permutations of libraries to build a a UI application? I don't know, Milan, if you heard of this, but now there are so many different libraries, which is not too bad. Like having diverse set of options is great but if i have to pull in an npm package to do a division and multiplication for me it's a little bit too far just a little bit you know there's literally a new git pack sorry a new npm package out there to do the power up well it's already native in, in math and javascript but anyway so you so forgot the, uh, the is evil oh, yes is evil. he's not evil <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. it's eval you know the you know the you know it's it's an npm package let's see let me see if i can find this one josh never heard of it let's see let's see if i can pull it out here it is is eval like what the heck seriously man is eval npm there it is <laughs> is that the one i think it could be something else i don't know oh, i don't man. remember look weekly downloads two hundred thirty-four thousand. <laughs> it, it's going everywhere, you know. I yeah. mean, it it has its it's, it's insane, uses. yeah. <laughs> so this is this is my favorite part, though. You know, not to kind of dunk down on npm. Josh knows very well. I love JavaScript. It's like one of my favorite. No, not really. But anyway, check this out, pa <laughs> pow. And there's actually libraries out there that will do the uh, the power for you. You know, isn't that cool? Crummy events, blockchain. Oh, by the way, when are we gonna get blockchain and Blazor, you guys? You know this. You know, it's kind of important. We need to blockchain Blazor. You know, look at look at Milan and Milan's face is like, okay, here, squared root. There you go. What wow. do you think about? Yeah, that's 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 innovative. That's innovative right there. What are you gonna do about that? And look, twenty eight thousand downloads weekly. We need it. We need the library. What are you gonna do? Anyways, we we just kid. <laughs> we just joke around. Um. Mladen, what's you know what's your next step in Blazor Eyes? Where are you taking this? What's your dream for it in the next two or three years? Well, my my biggest dream is to to be sustainable. Like uh, I want to have like few more people aboard, mm -hmm. and yeah, just just running a company for for myself, and that's it. Like doing uh, a lot of new new features. Uh, mm -hmm improvements uh, yeah. you might That's be what... do, do you know that you might be the very first ui blazer component provider in the entirety of croatia do you know that have you ever thought about that for a second yeah i think i did now 
this this guy is fu it's funny this guy got jokes you, you'd like to hang out with this guy you know yeah. <laughs> well now i do <laughs> great <laughs> <laughs> you should, you know what you should do? You should totally like in tech summits, and I'm pretty sure you might be invited to some of these. Have you, have you made your uh, debut in the NDC yet? Or, you know, maybe, maybe next year, NDC, the Oslo one? No, no, no? Not. you no. need to go there. And you definitely, you definitely, uh, you definitely need to make uh, also an appearance in our, uh, here at Microsoft, we have the, uh, the, the .NET channel. You know, I think, I think you made one appearance, right? Just one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, with I Afia, remember that. John, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. It was, it was a good experience, definitely. Yeah. Here's one more question for you. You know, what's a what's a thing that you that you built with Blazor Eyes that you're really proud of? With Blazor Eyes. Mm -hmm. I, I, not a, a lot of. Uh, uh, you're just maintaining to, the framework. Yeah, 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 yeah. just just uh, framework. But yeah, th there are a couple of applications that uh, I, we have, like a uh, support forum built on mm -hmm. Blazor Eyes. It's, nice. it's live, it's, it's, it's working for like uh, customers, the commercial customers. And yeah, it's love it. It's okay. Love yeah, it. It's okay. Running, working, that's it. <laughs> so, 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 okay. So, so what's the next feature? What's the next big feature? Like, I always have something in the back of my head that I say, okay, I want to yeah. do this next thing. Like yeah, these I days, I'm trying. Uh, go ahead, one go ahead. thing that a lot of people uh, want is tailwind. CLCSS. Tailwind. Yeah. 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 That that one is is going to be the big one. Okay. Yeah. Next right. are like uh, scheduler component and pivot grid and uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. As long as nobody tries to start doing CSS and C sharp, I'll be just fine because you know some folks, right, Joshua? Some folks started to think, oh, maybe we should do CSS in javascript because why not you know like you know you pull in the module and you add in css components and stuff like that what what do you think about that Milan? let's see you know you well, seem to have opinions i i, I, <laughs> I had i had an idea of doing css in c sharp <laughs> <laughs> see it's about time before someone like remember when node.js first came out i said someone is gonna go out there and try to create an operating system in node.js and it happened you know yeah, it different. didn't take off but it happened. So now you gotta make C sharp code generate CSS styles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not? Why not? Maybe it will you take know? off, maybe it will not, maybe it will like <laughs> I mean <laughs> I mean this brother has been taking risks since two thousand five. This brother has been in the zone for at least twenty years now. So why wouldn't he? Right? He would try to write sure. CSS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you don't try, you can you you will not success succeed. <laughs> okay. What's so so you tailwind, that's the next big thing you're thinking about for Blazor Eyes. Um, you know, what's something you want to say for you know, uh, younger engineers, people who are starting in the tech industry, people with dreams, people who want to do something like you, you know, we, we are, you are an inspiration. I really love, you know, just, just your beginning, your struggle, you're being able to kind of put something out there, even though, and I know what that is. I can relate, you know, being in a smaller town in a community where, you know, they, they you know, they don't know what computers are, they don't use too much yep. computers and you're just out there kind of exploring and, knocking that door until you, you you didn't just learn how to program computers you didn't just get a job you created a freaking framework you know that's like yeah. going above and beyond and you didn't just make a framework you made a framework and then you made a business on top of it man you're you're awesome i just want to let you know that like you are in my good book my friends what's yeah, a what's a what's a what's something an advice you want to give to your younger self what do you want to say to engineers out there yeah well, I, I got to say the same thing that I uh, say to, to my friend that's like he, he always uh, uh, is saying like, I don't know what to work on. Uh, I don't have inspiration. And uh, and what I always say, say to him, like, do whatever you can. Like, it doesn't have need to be like uh, first type of, of, of the application or whatever. You can do like copy of anything, like mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. start right. It doesn't have to be innovative. You mean? Yeah, you could try something. To be innovative. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. create your own thing uh, that you're uh, that you want to have, like uh, that that uh, 
you want to build and yeah whatever type of application of of system of of, uh, of library you think yeah just just do it just don't don't think about it like mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. yeah. interesting interesting so just take the leap jump try yeah, you jump. know even even if you're literally copying and pasting you know and and doing something that's Definitely. already out there yeah. you're yeah. still gonna learn something you're yeah. still gonna get something that's out like, of it there was there was like a few years ago uh uh, I didn't like get uh, uh, understand like dependency injection libraries mm -hmm. and how they work and and uh, like I was like I'm going to build my my own world and mm -hmm. while building mm -hmm. it like it it failed like I didn't finish it in any way but I learned so much stuff with with building it like mm -hmm. how internally stuff works and uh, yeah it's 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 a school it's a it's a life life school that's how you learn you just engage yeah. and interact with things around you you can't just succeed by just sitting still and saying well yep yeah. this is where i'm at you know i'm gonna do whatever people tell me to do and then whatever happens happens very interesting yeah. joshua do you have any questions for Milan mm -hmm. in here no, I, I like that advice, and I, I posted in the, in the chat the, the to-do in VC. Um, so a lot of times when um, I, I like to read, I, I like to read the code a lot more than I write code sometimes because I mm -hmm. want to see how other people are doing the, the patterns and whatnot. So, maybe, you know, for someone who who likes the idea of Blazor Eyes or Blazor in general, and, um, you know, the to-do to in VC started off with saying, hey, we're going to build this to-do app in one technology one fr framework and then mm -hmm. we'll do it again in another framework it's kind of a code kata but then people would try and uh, uh, you know translate it between different frameworks mm -hmm. so you say okay this is how you do it in angular this is how you do it in react i noticed that there isn't a uh, blazer one now a lot of these target things that will compile down to uh javascript but you know we know that blazer can uh, compiles down uh, to web assembly so we're gonna we're gonna say that our blazer should uh should be up there too and stuff. so that would be a, a great opportunity for somebody to to look at and you know practice and say this is how the you know javascript frameworks to it and how do we do this in blazer and then you know and then we can actually um ship it as a um as a web assembly so it would be you know cdn loadable and everything and stuff too so wow um, interesting yeah. Inter mladen we need one in here with blazer eyes yeah you know, with, with i'm your... thinking about it yeah <laughs> see see that's the thing you know you hang out with a bunch of engineers you're gonna learn about all kinds of crazy stuff because you know you never know like where you you know end up like a lot of my Visual Studio skills, I learned it from another engineer just telling me, hey, you know, you know, you could just do that, you know, and stop touching the mouse. Just keep, you know, doing shortcuts and it just makes things a lot easier for you. Yep. You know, um, um, Miladin, thank you so very much for joining us today. You are awesome. I want you to know that thank it's you. not just about building a great technology. But being able to take that technology to the street and actually have someone put their hands in their pocket and paying you for it, you know, that's just next level. In my book, this is what I call entrepreneurial innovative engineers. That's you. So you innovative, you innovated a, a, a technology, you came up with the idea, and then you engineered it, so you built it. And now you're running a business. So you are an entrepreneurial innovative engineer. You know, you should be very happy and very proud of what you did. And I wish you, you know, all success and prosperity, brother. You know, it, you know, it's always a lot of people will tell you, oh, you have to be, you know, you have to be in the right place and you have to have the right education and you have to have the right, you know, knowledge and background and the community in order for you to succeed. And here is here you are just saying, nope, you don't have to have nothing. You could start from nothing and you can still make it in the world and you can still run a business and, and create a sustainable sustainable yeah. model yeah i i really didn't expect to get that today from you i was just gonna <laughs> learn about blazer eyes and be like okay great here's another framework but no man you're you're above and beyond that and i really appreciate you for that and you know uh of course for the people watching us i hope you found this session inspiring and fun you know if you have any comments questions or concerns you know, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section but if you have compliments sure. my main man blood in here he's he's he, <laughs> You know, he's I'm I'm the how do you, how, hmm, let's see I'm I'm gonna pick up for my Serbo Croatian here and see if I can just say some good words for you. You know, you are uh, uh, how do how do I say it? You are um, uh, Vulimte Vulimte Mladen. That means I love you, brother. You're awesome. Yeah. Did I say that right? Yeah, I love you too. I'm, embar <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself here. No, <laughs> no, you you you're saying it uh, good. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> and
and then and then, and then they also say hawala hawala meaning thank you is that right yes thank you yeah. oh my <laughs> god i can't believe my brain where did, did that come from you know how do you say <laughs> how, that? how did you learn that <laughs> That's 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 what drives Josh crazy, right? I, we would be just randomly walking into a shop, and then we'd see someone from France or from Russia or from whatever, and I go like, "Oh, Kakdila Kara show," and be like, "Wait a second, what's happening in here?" <laughs> Let me stop. I don't know, man. I traveled a lot, like 22 countries, you know, 200 plus cities. You know, you know, I've seen it all. You know, and I have a. I have a memory that, you know, I realize when you connect a piece of information to people and to a particular event, so you're not just reading from a book like a mm -hmm. like a nerd, you know what I mean? You're just actually connecting the information to an event and emotions. It just doesn't go away. It doesn't go yeah. away. And, uh, you know, I just, I just love people and I love to learn about what they do. These days I'm just trying to kind of, you know, get that guy, new guy on uh, Odata team, Breno, to teach me a little bit of Portuguese. And while we're building Odata, he's going to be teaching me Portuguese. And, you know, before you know it, I'm going to start going and saying, hey, you know, what up? You know, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you. I hope you're OK. We might reach out to you sometime, you know, in the future. You know, every time an, an issue yeah. happens or something about the UI world, we, we want to pull you in on the issues. Right. So this is about you, who you are. You know, what's your background? You are already an inspiration. And I, I wish you all. Success. How do you say? Don't forget to like and subscribe in in Croatian. You you do it. Uh, you do that. Zaboravite uh, say subscribe at the. That's it. That's well. That 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 ended up abruptly. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Hawala and and Haide. Haide. That means yeah. goodbye. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much, brother. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. See you.